joy to the world. Let every heart prepare room for spirit. God bruised the world with truth and grace. Make music to the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord no matter where you are. The law and the Lord. There are universal laws that help us understand the greatness of God. Let's contemplate a few of these laws. The law of divine oneness. We are all connected through creation. So therefore, our actions matter. Now silently, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Release your truth unto the law. the law of correspondence. Our lives are created by the subconscious pattern we repeat every day. Are your patterns servicing you? Break those patterns that are not. And then go within and praise the Lord. Release your truth unto the law. The Law of Attraction. Attract a different set of circumstances. Change your vibration to attract people, places, and things on a positive frequency. Now allow the joy to bubble up.
the law of cause and effect. Be aware of how your actions and decisions are affecting you and those around you. Dismiss any negative energy. And then don't worry, just be joy-filled. God does marvelous things. God brings joy out of sorrow, laughter out of tears, and good out of the not so good. But what is joy? Joy is an emotion that is a result of the Holy Spirit dwelling within you. Joy flows from the heart, and that heart is Christ-centered. Feel that joy right now, that Christ-centered joy. Joy is something more than a feeling we experience when things are going well. Joy is an ongoing state of mind and heart for the Christ follower. It is present when life is peaceful and free of pain, and it is present when life swirls around us, chaotic and troubled. Whatever state you are in right now, just allow the joy to swirl around you, to swirl from within you. Joy is different from happiness. Joy is sustaining in a way that happiness can never be. Happiness comes and goes depending on the circumstances. Joy abides. 
feel that abiding joy. It is always present. You can always draw it up from within. The joy I know is a result of being a child of God. It is God working within me, pointing me toward the joy that is mine as a part of my inheritance in the Almighty. The joy you know is a result of being a child of God. It is God working within you pointing you toward the joy that is yours at a, as a part of your inheritance in the Almighty. That joy is real. Joy is a God-centered confidence that sustains us in the midst of trials, prompts us to turn toward our one true portion, and guides us through troubling times. That's joy. It guides us through the troubling times through the good times. It is always present. That's joy. And now return to this place where you've had your feet firmly on the floor. Return now. So it is.